Booster Gold is a hero, an icon, a brand. He's a vigilante protecting the streets of Metropolis, and also the head of his own PR company. He's a wink and a catchphrase. He's fame and fortune incarnate. But the number one thing to know about Booster Gold, he's 100% full of shit. Michael John Carter was your average star college football player from the 25th century. His future in the future was bright until his mother caught a devastating illness they couldn't afford to treat. Forced into a corner, Michael was caught betting on his own games in order to pay for the treatment. Should have moved to future Canada. While his mother did survive, Michael found himself in jail. After his time, he just managed to land a job as a security guard at the Metropolis Space Museum and stumbled upon the exhibit on 20th century superheroes. Which inspired him to become a superhero too. It kind of. Actually, he stole all the hero tech he could and turns out it was the real deal, including a goddamn time machine. Oh yeah, great idea. Let's just leave that shit lying around in the museum that hires ex-cons as security. Alongside his own C-3PO bot, Skeet, Michael took a trip to the past. He used his knowledge of future events to profit off the stock market and form his own company, Gold Star Incorporated. Uh, that's pretty clever of him. Clever like a fox? Because Michael J. Fox played the guy from Back to the Future and he went back and sports almanac. This PR firm and merchandising house would eventually introduce him as a self-made superhero celebrity, Gold Star. Except Ronald Reagan misheard the name as Booster Gold, and it stuck. Well, now he sounds like a trading card pack. Don't get the wrong idea, Michael didn't initially become a superhero for altruistic means. Even Superman, the most positive man alive, believed Booster Gold to be a huge dick. Who could blame him? Booster didn't care about helping people, he just wanted to make a fortune on problems he already knew would happen. Sports Almanac, remember? Luckily, he wasn't all talk. His stolen technology was incredibly advanced. Like his power suit, which despite making him look like a huge tool, increases his strength, speed, and toughness to superhuman levels. His main offensive gear includes energy gauntlets, both of which can fire unidirectional blasts known as booster shots. Really leaning into that brand synergy, huh? And if an enemy is getting a little handsy, he can redirect the gauntlet's energy through his suit zapping the shit out of anything it touches. Or it can amp up his strength even more. He's just gotta be careful not to run out of fuel. His goggles include heat vision, infrared, and x-ray. And his Legion flight ring allows him to, you know. But at the end of the day, Booster's still an ordinary guy. He's like if Iron Man were a dumb loser. Speaking of dumb losers, Wiz, why is your hair so much longer? I wasn't like that yesterday. Oh, uh, growth spurt? Wait a minute, you finished the time machine! What? No! Screw you, Wiz! I'm going back to the future! Ugh, whatever. Come back next week for the full episode of Cable vs. Booster Gold.